Yo, yo, Spectre here. Today, I'm going to show you how to import 3D objects from Illustrator over to Blender. First things first, open up Illustrator. In my last video, I showed you how to turn 2D icons into 3D icons in Illustrator. And if you want to see that video, you can click up on the icon above. And also, I'll leave it in the description below. Now, right before we get started, we want to make sure that you have asset export enabled. And you can see it here on the right column. And if you don't see it over, just go to Window. And then make sure you enable Asset Export. And it looks like this. Now, all you got to do is just drag over one of your 3D assets. And then just drag it over here. Now, here, we want to make sure that OBJ is enabled. And then here on the suffix, you can just rename it to whatever you want. I'll just rename it to YouTube. And then here, just click export. And you can also just export it wherever you want. I'll leave it here on, on desktop. I do have a OBJ file here. So if I just select, select folder, it's just gonna go inside that folder. Now let's go over to Blender. Now here I have the default cube and everything. I'll just delete it. Now go over here to where it says file and then go to import and then go down to where it says wave front OBJ. Then go over to desktop or wherever you saved it and go to that same folder called OBJ. And then here, just look for your asset. I have a lot of them because I already did a few. And then make sure to select where it says the name of your file dot OBJ. Then hit import OBJ. And it's going to look like this. And typically they do come out huge. So you got to scale them down. And the cool part about this is that usually it does save the color. So if you go over here to your material properties, you can see that here in the materials, the color is already enabled. You can make it more glossy, more metallic, more or less roughness. And also typically you're going to notice that whenever you do import these assets over, some of the colors are going to be individualized. For example, here, um, the red and the white, they're two separate things. Now I'll show you a, a different one. I'll do Spotify. And here, if you notice, the black didn't save uh, inside these little stripes. And you can just edit the color yourself. And since they are individualized, all you got to do is just do the same for all of them. And this one came out huge too, so just scale it down. And the cool part about this is that you can also add keyframes to these objects and kind of do whatever you want with them, honestly. So here, I'll just do a 360 spin real quick. And depending on how you make the 3D object, here, for this for example, I only did the face and I didn't extrude or inflate the back on like this YouTube icon here. It does have both sides inflated. And there you have it guys. That is how to import 3D objects from Illustrator over to Blender. And if this has helped you out in any way, shape or form, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Feel free to join my Discord server for any additional help. Either me or anyone from the server can help you out. You can follow me on my social medias. It is at spectre.3d. And if you have any suggestions to do any kind of video, please drop it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.